Hello YouTube friends, here's a project I've been working on for a couple of weeks now and um, I've put all these bits of video together maybe from about two weeks. Um, painting is my least favourite activity I have to say but I needed a couple of chairs in the kitchen and so I bought uh, these uh, chairs in kit form from Ikea. They were £15 each which is not expensive at all but they were pretty uh, you know cheap and cheerful so this paint then um, it was supposed to be lime green uh, it looks more sort of acid yellow doesn't it uh, I don't dislike it but it's definitely not the lime green I thought it was going to be it's called Indian Ivy which doesn't seem very descriptive to me so the chairs then there were two here and they came in several pieces which I primed first of all with wood primer and then um, here we go putting on this yellow paint. I had to let the whole thing dry obviously and between that bit of video and this one uh, there's at least a week where I went down to see my dad, came back again and got this project on the go again. Now all the bits come and the instructions come, uh, there they all are, pretty idiot proof. Uh, and so, um, yeah, we're going to put this thing together now. Now, so there's two seats there because I made, uh, I bought two chairs. So we're going to put two chairs together. Those bits of wood there are little bits of kindling from the fire that I just used to uh, balance the pieces on as they were drying. So that bit comes ready assembled, the side of the chair. Out come the instructions again. Oh, and now I put this, okay. I left all the bits in where I got it wrong. So I put those white bits in there, which are to hold the seat on. And if you've made one of these chairs, or even if you've got any common sense, you'll realize, yes, put them on the wrong side. So turn it over, put them on the right side. <laughs> yes, that's better. And I screwed them in, they kind of screw in uh, little plastic things. And I got them upside down, but it didn't actually matter because by the time I needed to use them, I got them the right way up again. Okay then, so um, they're, they're, they're a bright colour, aren't they? Now they're finished, they really look rather gorgeous in the kitchen. I like them. So I've got my hammer and these are little sort of roll plug things which attach the uh, side pieces. Uh, just check the instructions again. Uh, I kind of move it around quite a lot now, I think. And there follows, I've edited this a lot and I've taken out a lot of the hammering because uh, then I was just putting the side pieces in, the two curved ones and the straight one, which goes uh, near the bottom somewhere. And those things keep um, the whole thing together. It, it kind of gets a little bit shortly it would have been helpful to have had a second pair of hands. But, you know, um, take your time, and I managed. So, yeah, a little bit of a hammer there. I was only tapping them in. I could have pushed them in, really, but uh, check the instructions again. And that bit goes... It doesn't really matter which way around it is, Kate. That way, anyway. Yeah, that'll do. That's it. So I hammer that bit in. And so those are the three cross pieces... Um, uh, what's that one? I can't remember what that one is. Oh, of course, the front cross piece. Yeah, that needs to be on as well, doesn't it? So there are four cross pieces, and then, of course, the second side leg comes in. Okay, now, I'd bought two kits, so, of course, I had the wrong piece there. I soon discover that I've got the wrong piece and get the right piece. That's great. It's all a big learning curve. Okay, now, this is tricky because all of those bits have to line up. This is where a second pair of hands would have been helpful. Uh, yeah, and I decided to do it the other way up. Um, yeah, a little bit of... Oh, and then, of course, the other white things need to go in, uh, which hold the seat on. <laughs> okay, they go in there like that. And then this bit's just a little bit tricky. But hey, take your time and it works fine. I'll just get those bits out of the way. Give me a bit more room. Those are the, the side pieces for the second chair. Okay then. 
Let's line this up. I don't know, for some reason I decided to keep twisting it around. <laughs> Whoops. Yes, that was inevitably going to happen, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, in it goes. Is it going to fall out again? No, it isn't. Okay then, so line these. There's two roll plugs and two holes on each of these four cross pieces and you have to get them all in. Quite a bit of hammering. And I really shouldn't be hammering on my newly painted wood. And I think, yeah, I kind of realise that in a minute. Yeah, let's hammer it through a piece of kindling. There we go. That's a much better idea. So as I say, I edited this. I, I edited out quite a lot of hammering now because I was trying to get all of these in here um, really firmly. Yeah. I've spared you minutes of hammering here. <laughs> Lots of hammering. Okay, then I risk putting it up. It's still not very stable because it's only held in with the roll plugs. And now comes the um, a quick check of the instructions again. And this bit. Now, these very long bolts go in three places on one side and three on the other. So six in total for each chair and a little Allen key. Uh, you've probably all switched off now and gone to make a cup of tea, haven't you? I wouldn't blame you in the slightest. <laughs> now, this bit, they went in quite quickly to start with, but then when they, because then they bite into the wood and this is this whole structural integrity of the chair rests on these six bolts. Now, I don't know about you, but I've got kind of arthritic -y thumbs and I actually found that really the hardest thing of all uh, to do. But I did it. I just took my time. Now we're going to put the seat on now and there are some little screws somewhere that go through those white bits, those little white uh, plastic bits that I screwed in at the very beginning. And you screw the screws through the white bits into the seat. So I started doing that with a little handheld screwdriver and then I remembered what my son had bought me for Mother's Day a couple of years ago which is uh, what I call my girl drill. It's a little uh, power drill uh, screwdriver and just uh, getting it going <laughs> the right way. This takes me a while, a bit challenging. I actually use this little uh, screwdriver all the time it's so useful. And so in it goes, I get the screws in really tightly and then I tightened up all the ones that I'd done by hand as well. And so this chair is nearly ready. There was a second chair to assemble as well, but uh, I got the first one together um, nearly. A bit more screwing going on there. Yep, yeah, we're nearly in the finishing stages of this yellow chair. There we go. And so a little bit pleased with myself. <laughs> Very pleased with myself. Now, now I've put this picture in here. This is my kitchen two and a half years ago when my son finished the floor and this is why each of these chairs is going to have socks because I don't want to scratch that beautiful floor. Now I knitted these little socks out of my hand spun, bits of odds and ends of hand spun. Then I'm packing the bottom with some fibre which makes it a little more padded at the bottom. And then these socks are going to sit <laughs> on the chair legs like so. So that when they are being used, they're not going to scrape the floor. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's important, I think, that chairs should have socks. Here I am knitting the socks. This, as I say, this is my hand spun, the scraps that are left over, and some very big double-ended uh, needles, thick ones. And I'm just very simply knitting socks for chairs. Why not? 
And then the last week or so, television sewing has been this um, beautiful fabric from Philip Jacobs Fabric. It's called Snow Leopard. And I just adore the colours. I made the patchwork um, cushion seat for it and the little back resty thing. And the other side of that is a piece together as well in different size squares. And there it is, finished. And uh, I'm going to cover the second one. Here are the socks for the second one and whatever other chairs there are. And I'm going to make a different kind of cushion for the second chair. I haven't actually started that one yet. But here then is my first kitchen chair. <laughs> I had a load of fun making it. I hope you enjoyed it too. Thank you for watching.